to the member. Order. Members on my left. The question is the bill be agreed to. And I give the call to the honourable member for Ryan. Thank you, Speaker. This week our phones and emails have been running really hot in our Ryan electorate office with people truly distressed about huge cost of living pressures. Steep rises in energy bills are a significant challenge. People are absolutely desperate for relief. People are in real pain. So let's be crystal clear about where the problem lies and who's been causing this pain. As so many other speakers have said today, coal and gas corporations have been driving up these prices, profiteering off war and making exorbitant profits from the suffering of everyday Australians. Uh, and the government's been talking about handing out compensation for what is in reality to them a very modest price cap. And I call this out as nothing other than using our tax dollars for charity for big corporations. And that's ridiculous cruelty. These coal and gas corporations made $152 billion this year in exports. They don't need to be rewarded the extra cash. Everyday Australians do. And the people of Ryan are calling on the government to be sensible and responsive about this and to look after people rather than the interests of their mates in the fossil fuel industry. So here's what the people of Ryan think we should do instead. We should institute a windfall tax on the excessive profits of coal and gas corporations. We should be using that money to cap people's power bills and the level they, at the level they were before the war in Ukraine. We should be bringing energy retail back into public ownership so that there aren't energy retailers making these huge markups, selling on, en selling on energy they don't even produce, our energy. We should be expediting the transition to a clean energy economy so this doesn't ever happen again. And on a broader level, the fact that the government is finally capping prices on domestic coal and gas shows just how possible it is for the government to actually take more control over an essential service like energy. So this year has actually put a big question mark around the way we run energy as a market-based system meant to deliver Order. maximum profits even to government corporations rather than run it based on delivering people's needs.